couple of years, which could leave some deep wounds. Sophia Richardson begins our team report examining the long-term effects of potential reductions. National Guard cuts, the 1167 Signal Company in Grove Hill. Yeah. The These Alabama Guardsmen watch the list of today's cuts with a close eye. Army Reserve reductions proposed are the three... They, too, are on a future list to be axed. When the war broke out, they called them up and they needed them. Now that the war's over with, they say we no longer need these type of units, so... What's going to happen if another war breaks out? In fiscal year 1994, 664 Alabama Guardsmen are scheduled to be taken out of uniform. One of the largest cuts were scheduled for E Company, 131st Aviation Unit, based here in Birmingham. But just moments ago, that unit found out they were luckily taken off the list. Everybody at this point in time is afraid of the cuts coming up. The number of years all the Guardsmen have put in, and a lot of people are going to lose a a lot of years of experience if these cuts continue. 845 more Alabama Guardsmen are set to lose their jobs in fiscal year 1995. The majority of those reductions will come from the Birmingham area. 375 Guardsmen from the 167th Support Command in Birmingham and 389 more Guardsmen from the 167th Material Management Center in Homewood will likely be out of a job. I think Probably what worries uh, people more is the uncertainty. You know, they're just uncertain as to what will happen in the future. We're still on 95 hit list. Area See, guardsmen believe today's reductions cuts the National Guard down to the bone. They hope Congress will realize the severity of these cuts before their turn comes up. In the meantime, guardsmen say they will sit tight with crossed fingers. In Birmingham, Sophia Richardson, Alabama's 13 News.